Hi folks, this is Linear Algebra Quiz 10. I'm given a 4x5 matrix A. Asked to find the basis and dimension of the row space, column space, and null space. So the first thing we, you got to do is put A into row echelon form. I went ahead and put it into reduced row echelon form because that's that's unique. So then I got 1, 0, negative 1 half, 2, 3 halves, 0, 1, negative 1 fourth, negative 1, negative 3 fourths, and then two rows of zeros. So for part A, find the basis for the row space of A. Well, you put A into row echelon form, and you pick off the non-zero rows. And so this would be the first two rows. All right, so the non-zero rows form a basis for the row space. And since this is a basis, the dimension of the row space is a number of vectors here, which is 2. That tells us the row rank is 2. Part B. We're asked to find a basis for the column space of A. So how do we do that? We look at a row echelon form. We look for where the leading ones are. The leading ones are in row, uh, columns 1 and column 2. Now, column 1 and column 2 are not a basis for the column space, but rather the columns they correspond to in the original matrix A is a basis of the column space. So a basis for the column space is 2, 1, 3, negative 2, and 0, 6, 2, 4. And since we have two basis vectors, the dimension of the column space is 2, which means that the column rank is also 2. And we know from class, that's the big theorem, is that the row rank is always equal to the column rank, despite the fact that these subspaces are in, in different spaces. This is a subspace of R5, this is a subspace of R4, but they have the same dimension. All right, so for part C, we're asked to find a basis for the null space of A and then find the nullity of A. So for the null space of A, um, we're looking at the, the subspace of solutions to the matrix equation AX equals 0. So once again, if you were to solve that using uh, Gauss-Jordan elimination, you would append a, row of, a column of zeros, put the thing into reduced row echelon form, uh, and then read the equations back out and solve for your variables x1 through x5. Now, when you have a column of zeros, every row operation you do is just going to give you more zeros. So the augmented matrix would be the reduced row echelon form with just zeros at the end of it. So we take this out of the matrix and use the variables x1 through x5, and the system we get is x1 minus a half x3 plus 2x4 plus 3 halves x5 is 0. x2 minus a quarter x3 minus x4 minus 3 quarters x5 is 0. And then I get 0 equals 0 for these last two rows. Now since I went to the extra trouble to put it into reduced row echelon form, when I solve for the x1 and x2 here, I'm not going to need any have any back substitution. So x1 is going to be a half x3 minus 2x4 minus 3 halves x5. x2 is going to be a quarter x3 plus x4 plus 3 quarters x5. So, when I go to solve this system, my solution vector x, x1, x2, x3, x4, x5, 
What's that going to look like? Well, x1 and x2 are in terms of x3, x4, and x5. x3, x4, and x5 have no restrictions. They're free variables. So that means I'm going to be able to break my solution down into a linear combination of x3 times a vector, x4 times a vector, x5 times a vector. So uh, I look here for x3. The coefficient of x3 and, and for this is 1 half. Here it's 1 quarter. The x3 is 1x3 and, there, and x4 and x5. There's no x3s in them. Plus x4. The coefficient of x4 and this expansion for x1 is negative 2. And this expansion for x2 is 1. None for x3, 1x4, none for x5. And then you write x5 down. Negative 3 halves there. 3 quarters there. No x3, no x4, and 1x5. Okay, and so what we see here is that any solution x to this system is a linear combination of these three vectors. And these three vectors are easily seen to be linearly independent because this has a 1 in the third position and these have zeros. This has a 1 in the fourth position. This has a 1 in the fifth position. So they have to be linearly independent. So that means that these three form a basis for the null space. So the basis for the null space is going to be one half, one quarter, one, zero, zero, negative two, one, zero, one, zero, negative three halves, three quarters, zero, zero, one. Since I have three basis vectors, the dimension of the null space is 3, which means the nullity equals 3. Now A is a 4 by 5 matrix. We know that rank plus nullity always equals N, which is 5. And so in this case, the rank, which is the row rank and the column rank, was 2. The nullity is 3. And so that gives us um, the total 5, so that checks out. Something I encourage you to do is, since I use the reduced row echelon form of the matrix, um, there, is a, there is a very quick way to get these basis vectors. So I'll leave that to you to explore. But that'll do it then for quiz 10.